Hi everyone, this is Chris here from Hawkridge Systems Analysis Services. Uh, today, you know, I wanted to address something that I've I've gotten a lot of questions on, and thought I'd make a video about it. Is really how to take a fan curve that you get from a data sheet, which is typically a PDF, how to get that into SolidWorks Flow Simulation. Okay, so. Here's some of the things that I'm going to need uh, when I'm going to do this. I'm going to need, obviously, a fan curve. Typically, this is a PDF uh, PDF format. You're not usually going to get uh, Excel data, right? It's usually PDF. You're going to need Microsoft Excel or something similar to it. You're going to need a tool called a plot digitizer. And I've actually included a link in the description below this window. Uh, if you want to go ahead and download that, you're going to need the plot digitizer. You're going to need some sort of screenshotting tool like Windows snipping tool. I like to use Jing. Uh, it's a tool from TechSmith. It's free. And then you're going to need flow simulation to put that data into. So what do we start with? Well, you'll usually get some sort of fan curve data sheet like this. It'll have some information in it. And down below, usually at the bottom, it'll have your fan curve and there's this really is the the most important part uh, for defining a fan curve uh, in flow simulation and so the first thing you're gonna need to do is actually take a snapshot of this you can't just uh, use the PDF directly you take a screenshot use that screenshot tool take a picture of this and you'll end up with something like this just a PNG JPEG will work any image file from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that plot digitizer and again if you use that link in the window below in the description box you can download that plot digitizer or you can just go to Google and type in plot digitizer when you open up the plot digitizer first thing you do is say file open and you want to bring in that image file that fan curve image file and you're going to see something like this and always when you want to know what to do next you want to look at the bottom of this window so let me go ahead and expand that and it'll say choose the most negative end of the x-axis so I'm gonna use my zooming tools zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna pick the most negative end which is my zero zero point here and I'm gonna give it a value of zero and I'm also gonna use this as my y-axis minimum so I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna give zero for the y-min as well and then it's going to say choose the most positive end of the x-axis. So I'm going to come over here and click. And this is going to be a value of 30, just like what the x-axis is. Okay. And then choose the most positive end of the y-axis. So I'll come up here, click my point, and my value is going to be 1.6. All right. So the name of this, I always like to put in the name and the units uh, just so that I don't forget volume flow rate is what this is and this is in CFM cubic feet per minute and then my y-axis name is going to be the pressure drop right? and again this is in inches of water inches of H2O okay so now we have our axes set up now all we need to do is start clicking on this curve right so I'm gonna come over here with my mouse and I'm just gonna start clicking and obviously the closer you group these points the better but it will take more time now if you mess up and you're clicking and you accidentally do that you can always go to undo add and remove that point alright so I've gotten all my points here once I'm done go ahead and click this done button up here and then what you're gonna get is all of those points in columns in XY data right so 
At this point, I can go ahead and say select all or control A, grab everything, and I can copy paste this directly into flow simulation, but oftentimes the units aren't quite right. I know that this plot is for CFM in X and then inches of water in Y. I know flow simulation, they would like, um, depending on the unit system you're using, I know the unit system I'm using is going to be CFM and PSI. So I need to do a unit conversion here. So this is where Excel comes in handy. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to go into my Excel spreadsheet. And I already have one set up here where I have columns for volume flow rate and pressure drop in inches of water. And I also have my conversion. And so I'm going to go ahead and do my full conversion here. All right. And so now I have volume flow rate, pressure drop in inches of water, volume flow rate, and then pressure drop in PSI. Okay. And so that's really just me converting those here. I'm going to go ahead and select all the data. And it looks like I need a little bit more data here. There we go. Select all this data. And then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to SolidWorks. And I'm going to go into my engineering database. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new fan. So I'm going to go into my user defined section and create a new fan. And this is going to be based on volume flow rate. And then I'm going to go over to my table and then simply control V or paste everything and we have our curve from a PDF to flow simulation okay so in summary you want to get your fan curve as a PDF make a screenshot use that plot digitizer to digitize those points and then if you need to do any unit conversion dump it into Excel do your unit conversion there and then copy paste that directly into flow simulation. We save it, we have our fan curve, we're good to go. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, have a good one.